In this video, you'll learn how to build Python packages and deploy them so that you can install from pip anywhere, anytime. We'll also walk through techniques to accelerate your ability to learn new tech and build POCs or proof of concepts using modern AI tools. We're gonna to be publishing to the test Python packaging index. We're gonna be using Poetry as our packaging and dependency management solution. We're gonna use Ader pair programming in your terminal to streamline the process of writing and testing. And then we're gonna be using ChatGPT with GPT-4 to help us fast track our information retrieval process and help us walk through step-by-step step, how to get things set up in a quick, seamless manner. So first things first, we're using Poetry, so go ahead, get Poetry installed, and once you're ready to go, open your terminal and type Poetry version to make sure you have it installed. Then type Poetry new. I'm gonna call this first Python pack with AI. Cool, so it created that package inside of the directory, so if we just go in there, open up VS Code, it created our core application and then it created a Pi project TOML file. So this is the file we're gonna be largely operating in. This is going to detail how we'll publish our package and how our dependencies are built up for this project. So first things first, we're just gonna come into our application, create a main and just generate a basic main function. And there we go. So just a basic hello world. All right, so let's test. If you haven't used Poetry before, basically we're gonna run Poetry shell. It's gonna activate our shell. And I'm gonna use the VM to run our main file. Awesome, so that's working there. Without looking at any of the documentation, we just wanna ask GPT, how do we get a basic example set up where we can use Poetry to deploy our package? So I'm gonna say, how can we use Poetry, a package to test? It's walking through the setup installation. Exactly like I said, we're gonna do, gonna add poetry, and then you're gonna create a new poetry directory, and then we're gonna type poetry build. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here, so poetry build. Awesome, so you can see we have a brand new dist folder that has the wheel and the sdist, or the source distribution of our Python package. Okay, all right, awesome. So now it looks like it wants us to publish to test PyPy. If you haven't, go ahead and get set up with test PyPy. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. So it wants us to configure the repository URL to use the test Python packaging domain. And then it wants us to set up a token. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this and hop over to my terminal, paste this in so that we can figure to publish our package to test Py instead of the default Python packaging system. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then if you type poetry config list, you can see all of your configuration options. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my token so I can set this variable up in the configuration. If you go to settings and you scroll down to grab a token, I'm gonna hit add API token. I call it test token and I'm gonna give it access to all projects. Once you have that, go ahead, drop your token in, replace this your token variable, and then I'm gonna publish using the testpy repository parameter. So I'm just gonna copy this. Awesome, so that uploaded. You should see a brand new project. So you can see here my first Python pack with AI, just like we described, and now we can manage and view. So if we hit view, we can copy this snippet where we wanna install. So we have this, we could now install this into a Python package somewhere and consume the code. What I wanna do is configure this so that we run our application as a global command line tool. I'm gonna to hop back over to GPT and ask, how do I publish this package as a global CLI tool? All right, so fantastic. So GPT has given us another set of instructions here to run. So I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna boot up Ader, our AI pair programming assistant. I've created videos on this in the past. Definitely feel free to check those out, but we're gonna start Ader and we're gonna hand Ader these instructions and we want it to run and update everything it needs to. We'll take the output from ChatGPT and we'll feed it right into Ader and we'll let Ader make the updates to our program. We'll copy ChatGPT's output We'll open up VS Code. Right at the top here, I'm gonna drop in guide.txt. I'm gonna paste in ChatGPT's output. I'm gonna boot up Ader by exporting my OpenAI key. And then I'm gonna type Ader. So now I'm gonna add a couple of files so that Ader has context of them. I'm gonna type add. We're gonna add the guide.txt, pyproject.toml. This is our configuration file. And then we're gonna add first 
Python path with AI slash main.py. We're gonna add all those files and then we're gonna ask Ader, follow the instructions and guide to convert our Python app into a CLI app we can deploy with Poetry. Use our main.py file. Awesome, so you can see it made that change to the main file and now it's going into our project.toml file and it's going to update it to make the change it needs to deploy this application as a CLI app. There we go. And you can see in the tool.poetry.scripts header, it is specifying our entry point for the application. So this is not a huge change, but the cool part about this is that the change happened to all of our files automatically. All we did was dump a bunch of content from ChatGPT into a text file for Ader to read. So we have this really cool cycle of GPT generating instructions and we feed it to AI pair programmer Ader to then run the instructions to help us learn and prototype faster. So let's just do a quick smoke test. Let's rerun our application, make sure it still works. And we're just gonna type first main. And so we can see that that's still running. We have this separate build and publish step. I want to see if there's a way to both publish and build in a single step so that we don't have to think about it. So let's see. Let's just ask GPT, can I build and publish in the same step? Cool. So we can see there's a way to both build and publish. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. This will build, publish, and then send it to uh, the test Python packaging. Run that here. It looks like I am uploading, I'm uploading a package, it already exists. If we open the help here in TestPy, this is because we already have this version number. So when you're working and building your package, you're gonna to need to bump up your version number. And as you can see here in your pyproject.toml file, there is a version number. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bump this up one and then rerun our published package that worked perfectly. So if I hop back over to our package on TestPy, we have the new updated version. So this is fantastic. So now I can actually just install this. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna open up a terminal. I'm gonna copy our installation commands. And then I'm gonna say pip install with the dash i flag. This is specifying the package management system that we're using, we're using TestPy. So we need that dash i flag. And then we're specifying the name of our Python package. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. Awesome, so it installed. So since we had Ader and GPT update our Py project and Tomo file, all we have to do is type the name of our package and we can, let's, let's get to a fresh directory so there's no local anything happening. Type the name of our package, hit enter, and you can see we have the output from our program running in our terminal. We've just deployed a Python package to test Py and we can now use this anywhere, anytime, in any environment, and it's shared across the web. So anyone that wants to use this can. So after you've tested, you've made modifications to your application, and you want to deploy to the actual production environment of the package ecosystem, all you're going to do is you're going to go to the actual pypy.org domain, and you're going to hit login and register. It's going to be basically the exact same process. When you're walking through these steps, you can ignore setting up a remote repository. So you'll just type these commands without setting up the references to test PyPy. If you're unsure, if you're running into issues, you can just go ahead and ask GPT, how do I deploy to do the production public domain? Fantastic. Okay, and as you can see, it's basically as I said, you're gonna update your PyPy token to be your actual production API token, and then you're gonna type publish without the repository flag, and then once you're ready, you can just install as you did previously. That's a basic guide on how to use Poetry to set up your first Python package. After it's all said and done, you're going to have a Python package that you can run anywhere in any environment, on any device, and of course, share it with the entire world. Let's go ahead and make one more tweak. I wanna add a command line flag that will change how our program behaves. This is very common when you're building CLI applications. You're gonna to wanna to pass in some flags that alter the behavior of your application. What I'm gonna do is ask Ader to modify our main program to accept a couple of command line parameters, and it will redeploy using poetry publish. Update our main.py file to include 
two CLI parameters. The first parameter, flag one, will change the print message. The second parameter, a custom message, use arg parse. So with Ader, if you made a modification that hasn't been committed, it'll ask if you want to commit it. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And then I'm gonna rerun. Awesome, so as you can see, Ader updated our program. We're gonna use our parse that's just passing in an arbitrary flag called flag one. And if it's true, it's just going to say the flag one was used. And we also pass in a second param called message, which is gonna be a type string. And if it's there, we're also gonna print out whatever that message was. I'll remove this else statement here. I don't need any logic. I'll just always print hello from the CLI. But if we have these flags, they will just go ahead and print. Let's go ahead and run our Python on our main file and we'll just print it by itself first. Great, then we're gonna go ahead and add flag one. Flag one was used here. And then on top of that, we're gonna go ahead and add flag one and dash dash message. Here is a custom message. Awesome, so you can see flag one's if statement was activated custom message if statement was activated and we got hello from the CLI. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just manually bump this version up to 0.1.2. And then we're just gonna go ahead and run Poetry Publish. Still targeting the test Python environment, so I'm just gonna do that, hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and upload that. Fantastic. We can hop over to test PyPy and see if we refresh. We're gonna see we're at version 0.1.2 just like we specified, and if I reinstall this in the terminal. Now I'm gonna reinstall the latest version of our Python package here. When you're updating existing Python packages, you're gonna to want to install with the dash dash upgrade flag. And so you can see it picked up the latest version. Now if we go ahead and, now if we go ahead and run our Python CLI application, we get hello from the CLI as expected, but now we have access to these two new flags. So now if I type dash dash flag one, you can see that the new version was updated, it was published, and we're getting that new functionality. And just like the test from before, we'll go ahead and type dash dash message. This is awesome to help us learn and deploy our first Python package. So you can see that printed there and there. In there. Publishing your own package is really cool. You get to put your work out there. You get to enable other engineers to work faster, to work better. I've been wanting to learn this for a while and the fact that we could use AI tools like ChatGPT to walk us through the entire process and then take some of the output from ChatGPT and feed it into Ader or other programming tools like GPT Engineer, or AutoGPT, uh, or Gorilla GPT. There are so many tools now that you can use to accelerate both your learning rate and to help you prototype your applications from the ground up. On this channel, as you guys know, I want to help you become a better programmer and engineer by sharing the latest and greatest useful engineering tools and technology. Right now, the wave is AI, whatever it will be in the future. I'll be there covering it, getting value out of it, and sharing what I'm learning with you on this channel. If you end up walking through this and you know creating your own package, comment, share it in the description, or if you've already created your own package, I'd love to see what you've made. I have a useful idea I wanna build out, and in upcoming videos, you'll be able to watch me from scratch based on what we've learned here, build out a Python package and deploy it from zero to published. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.